Welcome, welcome to my channel. Today is my first ever reaction video, by the way. <laughs> but it's funny because I'm reacting comments on my video. So I'm looking down because I'm looking at my laptop. So I'm reacting to vlog 29, why I don't regret moving to Nigeria. At present, there are 74 comments. I'm literally going to go through all the comments on this video and respond to them. Let me read the comments and then as I'm responding to it, I think you'll understand a bit more of my perspective. Okay, first comment is from Caleb Ezekiel. To be honest, Aku Nigeria is really challenging, but will always be our home and we all will build it. Thank you, Caleb, for your comment. And I love the fact that, you know, you recognize that Nigeria is challenging. Nobody is denying that Nigeria is challenging. Even in the video, before I went into talking about why I don't regret moving back to Nigeria, I also mentioned a few things that I regret off the top of my head. Internet, lack of punctuality. But as he said, it's challenging, but it will always be home and it's up, up to us to build it. That's really the point that I was trying to make. Don't run away from the harsh realities of Nigeria. Nobody is denying that it's hard. As much as, you know, he has started a business and he failed, how many people start businesses in America or in Europe have to start it like start and restart like 10 times before the business kicks off that's just the nature of business it's not necessarily because of nigeria so let me move on faith gora i may not be in the best position to comment whether or not i regret moving to nigeria because i've spent my 25 years on earth here but i hate the way people make it look like nigeria is the worst thing that happened to them especially the nigerians who speak with so much negativity about their own home country yes it can be frustrating i admit but it is your country either ways i love that line i love the exposure and the different kind of mentality living abroad exposes you to and i'd love to experience that too but i will never bad mouth, bad mouth my country on youtube and make it look like the worst thing that ever happened to my existence thank you so much faith um i really appreciate that you kind of shared the same mindset as me we all have our frustrations with nigeria this is exactly why every time maybe i'm vlogging and they take light or something if you notice i always put a hashtag this is nigeria because i'm trying to show that these are the things that we're dealing with though but we're still here on ground trying to thrive and yes nigeria is behind and nigeria is frustrating but stop bad mouthing our country they're gonna be looking down on us if we, even we don't rate our own country sylvia's world Moving back to Nigeria needs planning and true foundation based on reality. Nigeria needs both entrance and exit strategy or four. <laughs> no, so I, I agree with the first part of what she said. You actually need to prepare your mind to come back to Nigeria. If you come back to Nigeria thinking, oh my God, it's going to be a breeze. It's not. As in, it's really not. There's so many things that you have to actually set your mind to know that, okay, I'm actually going to regress a bit, but be ready for what you're coming to face. Nobody is saying it's going to be a breeze. But don't be thinking, oh, I have to, like, I hate that everybody's thinking I have to leave this country. I have to, if all of you leave, then what's left for us? Are we going to be with the people that are comfortable in the backwardness of this country? No, we need forward thinkers. Fair enough, leave. Expose yourself. Like Faith said, that exposure i'm so grateful for it but don't use that exposure and now just stay there come back home and try and sh enlighten other people about what you've seen abroad as in okay next one deluxe creativity i really love this angle but i think moving back to nigeria is quite subjective it really depends on what you would like to develop I personally feel that nigeria is a great place for innovation in the sense that it makes you think outside the box whatever you choose to do for people that would love to practice medicine, for instance, honestly, the system in Nigeria has limits on how far you can go in making changes in the health sector. Long story short, I do believe Nigeria has its pros and cons. Pros in the aspect of being able to start and establish something for yourself from scratch without having to depend on the system of Nigeria. And cons in the sense that without connection in certain professional fields like medicine, your hands are tied. I really love your vlogs. Thank you so much, Deluxe. And I agree with you. There are pros and there are cons. And you're right that it's subjective as i said in my original video i'm in the development field so what i want to do is to push the human rights laws forward but do you know that even in my field i'm set back because the nigerian constitution only provides for fundamental rights if you don't know fundamental rights are different from human rights let's use lgbtq rights for an example lgbtq rights are rights that are protected in the human rights you know international human rights standard but according to the nigerian standard they do not fall under our 
human our fundamental rights as provided in chapter 4 of the Nigerian Constitution so obviously I'm already set back but me I'm trying to be creative about it because I've seen that okay going to court and doing um, you know human rights litigation is not gonna get me far so what am I trying to do I'm trying to spin things around and make myself a human rights awareness raiser I'm trying to sensitize people about the things I learned abroad so that doesn't even mean that oh even in my field um, there's, there's no setbacks I'm just being creative about my approach and electricity to do lab work properly but we don't have that in Nigeria and it's like I can get that more people who have seen that uh -uh, there's a different way that labs run come back and start pushing for better enforcement of those regulations then wouldn't we make a difference that's just my thinking Frank B Nigeria is one of the best places to live in many Africans don't see opportunities That's why they think of moving out of the country even to do odd jobs abroad many Oyibos are moving to that country That we seem to be downplaying and that's the thing like that's why this if the vlog wasn't meant to be about that I was just meant to be going to go and hang out with favor and as I was walking in I was like ah Why are there so many you know? Caucasians. <laughs> Somebody else made reference to the fact that there used to be so many experts in PH and then they left um, during the kidnapping crisis because obviously that was not a good climate for them. So my thinking is, no, these people, these foreigners are not going to be coming back to this country if there isn't some potential Why in us. is it that us, we are running away and them, they are coming here? Deb the Architect, Africans in general should look at coming to collectively invest in Africa. Collaboration and co-creation is the way to go. I love this. I actually love this comment. I heard that Buari um, refused to sign the the deal for like an African currency. I feel like that would have revolutionized trade for us because, you know, there's still this divide between West Africa, North Africa, South Africa, East Africa. Why can't we come together and really show the potential of Africa? Why are Africans always in top positions in other parts of the world? Megan Tiller Nigeria's corruption, daily struggles, poverty and poor governmental issues can affect anyone from wanting to move to Nigeria. You seem very entitled during this video and both of yours energies were completely off towards each other. <laughs> That's not even relevant to this conversation. My energy felt fine with favor. Shout out to you, babes. You know our energy is always fine, so I don't get what you were seeing, Megan. Um, Nigeria's corruption, daily struggles, poverty, po poor governmental issues. Thank you. You're right about that. They, they can affect you from wanting to come back, but they should not stop you from coming back. We are dealing with corruption and we are dealing with poor leadership. And how are these things going to change if the good people, the good crop, stays away? How do we get better people in government if the the forward thinkers are not on ground. People are not going to vote. If, if you know about Tonya Cole, Tonya Cole is a progressive businessman that has done things. But he was not in River State. So when he came to come and start trying to run for governor, everybody was like, where are you coming from? We don't know you. We'll rather choose the devil we know than the one we don't know. And you seem very entitled. I, I don't know how I, I seemed entitled. If you want to say that I, I seemed privileged, that's different. I can recognize that I'm privileged, but privilege and entitlement are two completely different things. Even in my line of work now, I go on trips to Benway and I'm showing you guys that I'm using pure water to bath. Don't you think I can be living in this my nice room, chilling up, loving life? Do you think I have to be doing all of that? No. And that's the difference between entitled and privileged. I know I'm privileged, I but I think I deserve anything more than I work for. Eche Tabu Emeka, sorry if I <laughs> murdered your name. You have to love wherever you are for anything to work out for you. I completely agree with that statement. Anything you're doing, if you set your mind to it and you're like, okay, you know what, this is what I'm going to do and I don't really care what happens or what setbacks I may face, then it's going to work out for you. You just have to be the one that's passionate. Nia Bisson, come back to where? A place where there is no constant light, water, law and order. No thanks. I'm great here in Canada. Living in Nigeria is for the rich. There really is no middle class. Aku, you're very privileged. You're speaking as a privileged Nigerian. <sighs> okay. We, we're now going into the whole elitist argument. Sylvia's World said, you are also privileged if you are in Canada compared to the average Nigerian. There are people who are not poor but not rich in Nigeria actually and I've met many. You're right though, there is no constant light or law and order from all but most people don't read up on the history of countries they fled to many years because they all had their... Oh my god, Sylvia's World! You are... You are... Yes, let me keep reading. 
uh-huh because they all had their crossroads in their own history we love to go where the food is already cooked and not build what we are complaining about in nigeria thank you Ghanaians were in nigeria because at the time nigeria was better for them they left and built oh my god sylvia's what i you, you think about it who do we really blame for what nigeria is or is not lawrence bray said silver's world you said it all nigerians fail to realize that the only time you will be respected out there in your so-called new home is if your country of origin is doing fine thank you kenneth ukot said nia i not only agree with what you're saying but i also understand don't listen to the other two comments below that doesn't make ha ah, this video is going to be so long that doesn't make absolutely no reasoning sense in what they are saying no they make a lot of sense to me but if you go to a country where nothing works and i'm not talking about nigeria i won't be selective here no infrastructure security high rate of crime no law and other people are always trying to choose you have to be a blind person or a rich person to not see that and not complain we are here complaining that's the point how will you be there and be talking from far who is going to listen to you come here and complain with us make our complaints louder that's what i'm trying to say now tell me how can business thrive in such an environment how is dangote africa's like richest man from nigeria it's good to say come back and build everyone would love to but if these things are not in place people will come and lose their investment their time and if they are not careful even their life how would these things be put in place if those of us that are thinking about putting them in place remain abroad? This is the question I keep going back to. If the ones there cannot fix Africa, you tell me of what use the, the diaspora are. Really? The diaspora are the enlightened ones. They are the ones that have seen exposure. This video is so long because my camera has overheated like how many times i don't even know how long it's gonna be but to me it's well worth it because we need to get into these issues okay wall street meme trader yo this girl is smart also we're all coming back thank you boo and please do i look forward to seeing you i totally agree with you both about moving back to nigeria but it's not an easy decision to make as well it's not an easy decision especially when you lived abroad for years i personally believe starting up a business is easy in nigeria but search for your dream job can be difficult thank you i understand nobody that nobody is saying that it's easy nobody is saying that it's a walk in the park what i'm saying is that it's worth it okay jj coco it's the people with money that would most likely get richer and don't forget other nationalities i'm ready in abroad i might as well take advantage and gather this money here fast then take it back to nigeria to invest i'd rather spend this time building skills gathering money and equipping myself for what is ahead and that is what's working for me personally i don't blame you at all i spent six years of my life in england but six years internalizing building up my skills doing whatever i could to enhance my capacity i kept it at the back of my mind that i am coming back to nigeria i'm taking these things back to nigeria and that's all i'm trying to encourage people to do don't forget your home if ever hey boo um, he actually said take care thank god i was right and as always i enjoyed our conversation thank god though, since they've accused us of our energy being off parents um, brain people need to understand history in order for them to position themselves economically and otherwise please go watch the men that built america oh my god somebody else recommended this to me does everybody think that america started off how it is now i'm very thankful that i'm here because what i've been able to achieve and still achieving will be impossible if i was not on ground thank you and i am not anywhere close to coming from a privileged background plus i have never seen any developed nation that was built by other people so please we should stop complaining and start planning and doing our own bit <sighs> lawrence lawrence god bless you any nice restaurant you go to in abuja now is owned by lebanese why 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 are other people developing our nation i i love the fact that he said start planning that doesn't mean that oh just do your bit strategize for what you're going to do it's not going to be easy but start planning and get ready to do your own bit to contribute to the development of our nation kazim badurin Nigeria is a very difficult country to move to. I think because I've established myself abroad, it's hard to see how backward Nigeria is and not feel frustrated. The frustration begins at the airport. The fact that there is no AC at the Arabah Lounge was the first frustration. It's very difficult. Franklin. <laughs> oh, I watch Franklin. Either. The devil himself controls all the air conditioners at Motalam Airport. Once you step off the plane, it's like stepping into the oven. 
is that is that really worth like i know i know yes it's hot and it's annoying but is that really worth you leaving your home country behind janet yo this is what i keep saying people think i'm crazy when i say i want to move back despite all the thank you it's not there are no, there are no issues despite all the issues in night being in the development field there's only so much i can do outside and hey janet shout out to you i can't believe i'm in the same field but i guess maybe that's why you understand in the development field we want to develop the country so maybe that's why you know for us it's easier to say yes let me keep my eyes on the bigger picture and know that this is the work we have to do to get our country to the next level Rokoya <laughs> great conversation ladies you like you there's hope for nigeria and in fact the whole the whole of africa Thank you. I really appreciate that. Okay, Adama Jata. First off, you both look gorgeous. Thank you, boo. Secondly, I completely understand and agree with both sides in regard to the big move. Nigeria has a huge amount of pits, pun intended, but the peaks are plenty when too. experience most times is what you make it. To be blind to its flaws is the root of the problem. Ooh, I'm loving your, I'm loving your outlook. But hopefully, starting with our generation and the next, change will come and we will start to grow and flourish in the good and not the corrupt. We choose, we define, as in we are the middle ground and we are the ones that can redefine Nigeria. We plan everything and be 20 steps ahead. That's really the way to thrive. Know what you're coming into, know what you're signing up for, and it will be easy for you to overcome. It can be super tough in the beginning, especially if there's no help, patience, or understanding of one's decision. Anyways, I'm shy, excited, and scared. Look here, eh, the best things in life are make you scared and make you excited. Tick Kinze. I got you, Aku. Indeed, Nigeria is a huge opportunity with numerous potential. I can't stop thinking about the business opportunity there in Nigeria, plus more. I pray to come home and invest pretty soon. I'm very proud of that outlook. Um, Uchana Raphael. It's interesting that there is an increased number of experts in Nigeria, but why? Same thing I'm asking, sis. Nigerians need to shine their eyes, yes, and ask lots of questions. Nigerians need to know what's happening in their own country. Youth need to wise up real quick. As much as these foreigners may have good intentions concerning Nigeria, no one can love you more than you love yourself. Cici Ashley says, 100% agree. I just pray Nigerians are wise enough to see. I really love that, you know, people are actually understanding this mindset. And Nobody is saying, let's be against expats and let's be racist in this country and let's be, you know, anti-foreigners because global trade is you know part of advancement as well but what i'm trying to avoid is a situation of global exploitation like why are we not tapping into these opportunities that these foreigners seem to be able to be tapping into they are taking from us we need more people to be bringing to us Okay, jump key jump cable it's okay to move back to nigeria if your family can support you financially while you are trying to impact the country it's however tough for people that don't have anyone to support them that's our life because i have that privilege should not make you look down on what i'm saying try and take the bigger message from what i'm saying yes it will be harder for some than others even me too there are people who are living much better lives than me in nigeria my mates that are also more privileged than me but i don't look at them and think ah i have to run i have to rush abroad Again, i want to develop my country despite my limitations but let me move on it's a shame that nigeria has so much to offer yet nigerians aren't able to access the opportunities unless you are well connected or come from a wealthy family and it's a shame honestly it is a shame but it's like how can we change that mindset so that's what we should be thinking about how can we change this you know way of life in nigeria this corrupt system how can we go about reforming things we need to stop giving up and running away let's tackle our issues head on just my perspective but uh, i know you still come for me that it's because i'm privileged that i can have that perspective you see yeah, Akin, nigeria is on the rise but it's definitely up to all of us in this generation both home and abroad to make it happen i love that <laughs> please share share my videos i beg she goes here okoro said the system wouldn't let you succeed no power and no good road it discourages nigerians overseas from coming back home exactly you in as much as we love our country let's be honest the system is there no cheat code to the system like are there not people that have risen from the ground up in nigeria that have made something despite the setbacks like to me i feel like yes the system is malfunctioning but there, there's always a cheat code there's a way to override the system isn't there and then bigger picture we are even meant to be thinking of how we can reform the system yeah, Latifa, he said to be honest i will forever be nigerian but the disorganized system can be very frustrating if god wants me to move i'll move back but until then i'll keep watching fifth 
for an alcohol. Thank you. I really appreciate that. But please move back. The vlogs are meant to entice you to come back to see what's going on. So guys, well, Akubeze, I agree with your hope. Some will come, some will not come. But one day, some will run to Nigeria with a pinch of regrets for being late to the party. And then, I'm telling y'all, man, it's that. Okay, Kelsey, fine. Mind you, I schooled in Nigeria okay. at Nico for two frustrated years, and I moved out back then. And someone has the guts to tell me, you are based abroad, and so, my dear, no offense, but make you two try come. At least I don't see different culture and learnt a lot far more than my university could ever have given me. That knowledge alone and how the system has humbled a lot of us, if we bring this mentality back home, a lot will change. Yes, forget racism. Over here, there's what we call long-term planning because the system is stable. But back home, how do you even think of the future when you never fit survive for that day? I tell all Nigerians in diaspora, don't go home and invest till this useless government realize and, val and value the power of their people coming back. Normally, investing back home would really change one's life based on our, your po our population and size but who frustrates the people the government if not stable electricity you think of security and if not you think of insurance just in case okay this was actually very insightful i i, I actually completely understand where you're coming from and i know that you know unless our government changes and unless we have better leadership we are actually going to find it very hard to progress it's all well and good to be saying oh yes come back and fight but if the president just removed the cjn like he was just a regular guy in an office then is there really hope for us to me it's like a defeatist mindset if we just say okay this is how things are and i'm staying away from it like no like the struggles are there but how can we fight should it? be thinking of more progressive ways to tackle these issues than to just be chilling comfortably in your nice insurance afforded apartments they have the architect if nigeria boosts tourism everything will fall in place nigerians in diaspora will get more involved to improve the social the socio-economic situation boosting tourism will boost investment and capacity building i actually agree with that and that's something that Favo had mentioned even in one of our nigerian challenge videos that's coming up drea b these women come from well-established families for the fact that they both studied abroad shows that their families are struggling moving back to nigeria is very subjective from the stories i hear from family there is only opportunity based on who you know and who you are plus despite how much money a person can make money isn't everything no matter how much money i can make by moving back home i won't it's easy to say come back to nigeria when you have financial backing but what about the people who are bright but don't have the luxuries you guys do so it's not always about what a person can offer so many other factors have to be thought out carefully do you know you kind of contradicted yourself because you're talking about oh it's not all about money despite the money there's poor government poor security poor electricity but then you now go back to how it's because we have money and we can afford the luxuries that we do and we have the financial backing that we do that we are advocating for coming back to nigeria and not regretting moving back to nigeria so no we there may be money but there are still those struggles there's still corruption there's still poor electricity there's still all those things that you mentioned but to me the bigger picture is worth it so she was like you're completely right and those are the views i also share as well regarding nigeria people can say move back from a privileged position but what about those who aren't so privileged what then I feel like you know this privilege conversation it, it it kind of waters down the main points it's like yeah privilege gives you some form of an advantage but it doesn't em eliminate the struggles completely i think that's what i'm trying to get at so it's like you guys should stop throwing up the privilege card as if you know privilege trumps everything and just makes nigeria so sweet to you nigeria is still a struggle for me even though i'm privileged in that sense pamela agada said one for the majority of people that are okay moving back to settle in nigeria have direct access to the upper echelons of the society who can get them set up with a well-to-do job that could easily mirror the lifestyle abroad. If I get you on that, but the issue is that as we just addressed, having money doesn't still eliminate the struggles of the nigerian society things may be a bit easier but things are not perfect still think about the people that brought pos uber food delivery and Della, all these ideas that manifested into business opportunities the majority of people behind the school that brought they saw what was lacking and were able to bring it in that's the point i'm making is these people with progressive ideas that can come and develop our country Ginge Ola said, looks wow. like I'm coming to open customer service firm in Nigeria to educate lots of companies, employees. I'm coming, make now wait. We they wait you. <laughs> 
and somebody replied saying please don't come oh please i'm begging you please come back oh, sometimes i wonder that is it because i'm a development worker like is that why to me i feel like let's yes. focus on our potential more than focusing on our flaws lilian bello said wise woman love you or hurt you and hurt you too lilian bello chinoya said nice commentary but was disappointed with the giving and receiving of monies at the reception towards the end of your vlog figura said that was a kind gesture and there's nothing corrupt about giving a tip he didn't ask for it that would have been called bribe she willingly tipped him and that's fine both home and abroad okay tip for what did he provide a service the nigeria we want will only emerge when we change our mindset as a people and i i actually completely side with faith here i gave him a tip for his honesty After all, there was no sign there that told me that oh it was parking was free for elections so he could have still swindled me so i gave him that to show that you know honesty pays honestly if you don't encourage benevolence then you really are not encouraging us to grow because a lot of people need that extra chip to just show them that oh you know there's some rewards for being a good person in life that's how i like to think of it billy yati said abuja vloggers hands up oh i like that man okay just... wet in jojo said okay no disrespect since i love you in favor but please african stop calling these folks experts this is what i was talking about they are immigrants we that come to their countries are called immigrants onto the topic of returning to nigeria takes a grand scheme of planning hard work and challenge granted i agree folks my prayer is one day we will find a path for our country amen and to me the more of us that are here the easier it will be to find that path if we take a lead starting with those in our politics which is total cleansing of all then of all them damn corrupt politicians from local government to presidency we then have a chance but as long as the greedy ass as <laughs> are there we are doomed with you i wouldn't even like Kels, if i coming said back to nigeria without financial backup you're like a useless despite you having a lot to offer educationally keep your hopes high girls i love that self confidence that's the niger spirit but for as for us to come back my dear law maybe to marry lovely video do you know that's also something that's standing out to me this like a person that's saying that they may come back to marry why do you feel that we are worth coming back to marry you know take from again but then not invest in not plant in megan tiller said this video won't go viral like ems honey if anybody is making a video to go viral they're just setting themselves up for failure if i wanted to go viral i'll just come naked on my channel and yes i can say our culture has gone naked it's gonna be viral but what was that gonna gain you know, there's always a purpose behind every video i put out so never think that my purpose is to go viral my purpose is to spark a conversation or to just plant a seed of consciousness um blessing 777 you said you just arrived in nigeria I've been back in Nigeria since the year 2016, by the way. Nigeria is a total disgrace and a shame. Nigerians are very stupid. Africans are fools. Wow. How did we hurt you? I don't even want to finish reading this. You said you left Europe where there is light to live in darkness in Nigeria. None of your dreams will ever work. Nobody has time for that negativity. You're on your own with that comment. I'm actually not reading that. Because that's absolute trash. And there's this African proverb I posted on my Instagram today. And it says, You are beautiful, but learn to work. For you cannot eat your beauty. So that's exactly how I kind of like to think about Nigeria. Like, Nigeria is a great country we have so many natural resources we have so many gifted people you know that are from this country but we can't eat our potential we actually have to put in the work to bring about this potential to flourish our nation to what it could be don't give up on us Come back and develop your home so i will end with our national anthem arise O compatriots nigeria's call obey to serve our fatherland with love and strength and faith. The labor of our heroes past shall never be in vain. One nation bound in freedom, peace and unity. Unity. O oh God of creation, direct our noble paths. Guide our leaders right. Lead our youth the truth to know. In love and honesty to grow and living just and true great lofty heights attain 
to build a nation where peace and justice shall reign nowhere starts off developed everywhere always starts off as underdeveloped and we need people who are actually going to be steadfast in the fight and steadfast in the mission to move our country to the next level so me and pat and i hope that you're part too no matter where you go remember the road that would lead you home okay we have the capacity to be one of the greatest nations in the world really and truly i believe in nigeria and i believe that you should too so, yeah. I'm my style of my thoughts been